When the cross-site scripting payload is persistent on the web page, likely because it is being saved to a database and fetched by the website, it is called a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability. This is the most dangerous type of cross-site scripting vulnerability because the payload has the ability to affect every single user that visits the vulnerable site. So here we have a form where we can sign a guestbook where we supply a name and a message. And when we hit sign guestbook, we see that our message gets displayed at the bottom here. And the first thing I like to try when testing for cross-site scripting vulnerabilities in a text form is doing the basic script where an alert pops up, basically saying any text that you want. So in this message box right here, we're submitting some JavaScript code, which is noted by the script tags. And inside the script tags, we have an alert that's going to say XSS whenever the page is visited. So let's go ahead and hit sign guestbook. And here's that alert that comes up. And now this has been saved to a database somewhere on the back end and is going to be displayed on the web page every time it's visited. And we can leave the web page and then go back. And we're going to get the same pop up every single time. In a real world scenario, the administrator of the database would have to manually go into the database and remove the malicious input. Otherwise, anyone who visited that page would be affected by that alert. 